Hey y'all, it's Christy Cook from Tea Dottles. It's time for episode number 24 of Tea Dottles Talks. Um, it's a little late, but I'll tell you why in a minute. It's always something, right? Always. But, uh, I would first like to welcome all new subscribers. I've seen a lot of new subscribers recently, which is awesome. Um, I'd also like to say welcome back subscribers. It's always fun to to have new subscribers and returning subscribers to talk to in the comments. I really enjoy reading your comments. And I just want to say that sometimes it takes me a minute to get to answer them, but I do try to reply to all comments. I feel it's important since you take the time to comment to try to respond in some way. So uh, I spent a couple of hours uh, over the weekend answering comments on YouTube because I had gotten so behind um, and I, I still need I have some that I still need to answer so I do always see them just so you know as soon as you post them I usually read them because I have notifications on my phone I just uh, sometimes it takes me a minute to get to sit down and answer them so um I hope everybody's enjoying. Uh, if you're in the States, it's Memorial Day. Um, uh, a lot of people are out grilling and enjoying the lake or river or what have you. I'm inside in the cool. It has reached 100 degrees the past two days here. I think that I'd rather stay inside. <laughs> Me and the heat do not get along whatsoever. Uh, and I don't want to be out in it. So, um, I was going to do this yesterday, and I just did not feel good. I haven't felt good really all week. I've been, uh, for those that don't know, I don't I don't have a thyroid because I had thyroid cancer, and um, during certain times of the month, uh, when my unfriendly comes to visit. <laughs> It can really zap my energy. Um, this one's been a rough one this week. And then on top of that, I've had allergy issues and sinus issues. And I have a big old cold sore that came up on my lip. Which is what that is, in case you can see. Uh, that's medicine on it, not something on my lip. <laughs> and I'm going to tell y'all, that Abreva really does work. If I feel an itchy almost bump feeling on my lip and I go ahead and put it on immediately it will not come up and if I keep putting it on you have to put it on like a bunch like repeatedly over the day for it to work but it does work this time I did notice it one day and then I was so tired and I forgot about it and didn't do it till the next morning so it had it didn't gotten all gross looking but it, it, it did look, um, it was bigger, so it got bigger, it's huge, and that's a sure sign that I'm trying to get sick, which I don't need to be, I just started class back, I go back tomorrow, so, anyway, that's what I've been doing, so, hmm, I had all these plans since I had, went back to class for one day on Thursday, which is crazy, and I had a four day weekend. I was like, oh, I'm going to get some other stuff finished up. I didn't get done while I was out on my break. No. Just haven't felt it. Haven't been feeling it. So, in her, here we are. And I know I look kind of, I tried to, no, I got to get a haircut. I keep saying that. I've got to text my hair lady and tell her, I think I'm just going to cut it. As short as it was when I first got I know for a lot of people this is short already, but I got it super short when I first cut it. It's my hair used to be down to my waist. And I got a lot of hair, y'all. It's very thick. It's very coarse. And when I cut it off, I didn't realize how much it was making my head hurt. <laughs> so, I shall not be letting it grow that long again. And this right here is at a length where... Cause I was trying to let it grow out just a little bit, but this is at a link where I can't put it in a ponytail, which I wouldn't want it long enough to be in a ponytail because it's just gonna be heavy and annoying. Um, 
but it's it's hot enough it's long enough so that it's sitting on my neck and it's just it makes me hot it's hot it's hot y'all it's hot that's why i'm drinking water although i did have coffee i always have coffee earlier today it's later it's like after two o'clock i had to do my blog post this morning since i didn't work on that yesterday either this today's blog post they come out at 7 p.m which works with my work schedule usually um and i still haven't had a chance to do some rearranging and remodeling so to speak of my blog uh, i've kind of put that off because it's not something i like to do because it's not enjoyable all that computer work although yesterday i did spend most of the day cleaning up my files in my computer <laughs> Is also not fun but something that needed to be done so uh hopefully i'll get to it before the end of the summer but either way i'm getting sidetracked here y'all my blog post is gonna be the next challenge uh in my finish alone my maker finish alone that i'm doing this year um i you can find out more about it in my Facebook group, T Dottles Makers, which there's always a link down below. Um, and I will be, that'll come out and I'll share the link. I always share it in my Facebook group. Um, it does post to my Facebook page as well, all my blog posts do. Um, but you should check it out. Uh, the next challenge has been issued. And we're trying to finish up our UFOs or unfinished objects. And, uh, I'm excited. I mean, I look so excited right now, but I got a little bit of a headache that <laughs> I've tried to get rid of. It's still not gone, but okay. So, Nick, or this coming weekend, yeah, I'm definitely gonna. Well, I may do a separate video, but uh, if you haven't watched my Yarn Palooza video, you need to watch it yet. Something special going on there. And I do want to say, I've watched summer's tips and stitches and she was talking about rules and regulations for running a giveaway which i have neglected to do and i'm gonna have to update that post and i will update the post when i announce the winner for rules and regulations of giveaways on youtube because there are some rules you have to follow and i should have known that already because i have a blog and i'm well aware of all of those rules and regulations i just had to do a bunch of updates and redo my privacy policy and cookies and all that stuff because of the GDPR law that passed in the EU or the European Union. Uh, now, I do not live in Europe. I live in the United States. But because my blog is on the internet and could potentially be viewed by people in the European Union, I have to comply and have things in place so that I don't get in trouble for that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, that's always something when you run a website. Because uh, I call it my blog, but it's technically a website because I uh, pay for it. I just had to renew that as well for another three years. I just had a three-year anniversary on my blog, which is crazy. Can't believe it's been three years already. Um, and I always encourage people to go sign up for my blog posts. Um, I do try to share stuff on here, um, but there's some things I do on the blog uh, that are different. Plus, uh, the blog is my website, basically. It's something I pay for, so I control what's on there. And if you're on my email list, if something like if YouTube went away tomorrow for whatever reason, it happens sometimes. I have no control over that, them deleting content, because it's their platform. It's not my platform. My blog is my platform so um and it's just helpful to bloggers to sign up for their email i know you don't want a bunch of emails in your in your in there and stuff but i'm, I'm about to redo that so that i have a once a week newsletter that kind of tells you where i talk to you and i'm gonna provide links to any blog posts i did that week and links to any videos I've done and uh, just like things I found on the internet throughout the week that are interesting and 
things I might think you like. It's just things like that, you know, like just a kind of weekly update on what I've been doing. Um, I like reading uh, newsletters like that, and that's how I want mine to go. I just haven't got there yet, but I'm working on it. Um, okay. So, let's see. I've talked about several things. I've got my list, and i got my computer going over here. That's why you keep seeing me do this, to keep it from going to sleep. I got it turned weird so it doesn't cast a glow on me, which I don't need. I'm already looking better pale. I've got my Land That I Love t-shirt on today, and I'm wearing my... Oh, I have to take that off if y'all want to see that. This is... Alright, is it going to focus today? There we go. Yeah. This says Georgia, and the coordinates on there are for the capital of Georgia. Ew, my fingernails. No. Mm. Uh, I got both of these items from Sense of Style, which they're still an affiliate of mine. I don't do as much with them as I did when I first started my blog. But they always have fun shirts. This shirt is about this t-shirt's about three years old, so it's held up really well. There is a little bit of fading on there. It was kind of faded looking when I first got it, the little thing. But, um, yeah, I've worn it a lot. They're very comfortable. They don't shrink. Their t-shirts do not shrink. Never had a problem or an issue with any of their t-shirts shrinking. And I'm sure they've got some kind of Memorial Day sale going on, so I'll drop a link down below. I'm going to check it out. And I am aware that I haven't done show notes for my last podcast. Hopefully I'll get that done before the end of the week. I'm sorry. But if there's a link to something that you're looking for that I didn't put down below, just let me know. I can give it to you. <laughs> um, what else this week? Uh, I took a creative personality test through Adobe. I believe that's who it is. I'm going to try to find a link to that. Um, it was fun, and I, I think I got that link from Quilting Jet Girl. Yes, she's a quilter and has a blog, and she had that in her newsletter, and I decided to take it, and it said that I am a visionary, which I think that falls in line pretty good with me. Um, I'll, I'll put a link down there, and you can take it and see what kind of creative personality you have. Uh, those tests are always fun to take. Uh, always glean some information some interesting things makes me think about my personality um i don't base my personality on what it says but it's just interesting to to read those things to me um what else oh in my yarny yarn up a loser video if you noticed me looking off to the side at one point and maybe i was making some faces that weren't quite pleasant because I had to pause that video and go let my dog in, if, if you've watched that video. And, yeah, I didn't realize when I let him in, but he had apparently rolled in what smelled like poop. I don't know, it was all over him. And he had come in here and laid on his little bed in here. And then it just, all of a sudden I started smelling it. And I was like, uh, but I was almost done with that video and I didn't want to stop so I uh, waited till I got done and I had to go give him a bath and it was on there and did not want to come off but Lord have mercy why do dogs do that ugh always run it roll it I don't know if it's worse when they do that or when they roll in uh, something dead they like to do that too and they like to rub their face on it and it gets like ugh. Mm. And one more thing. I have a pomegranate growing on my tree. I'm excited about that because I've had that pomegranate tree for like seven or eight years. And like two years ago, I got my first two balloons, which did not make a pomegranate. Last year, I had a few more balloons. Still no pomegranate. This year, it had a bunch of balloons. And I was very excited about that. And there's only one at the very, very top of the tree. Because it's over my head now has turned into a pomegranate. And I'm very excited about that. I hope it continues to grow 
and makes me a pomegranate to eat because I love pomegranates. That's why I planted the tree. Um, pomegranate trees are kind of, they're more like a bush because they grow from mostly from the base out and stems and you have to I need to thin it out I really do since it's finished blooming um well I need to go put a bucket of water on it too because we had not had any rain in a while it's been so hot um but they also have thorns on them like big thorns so you have to be careful <laughs> when you mess with it uh Mayhaw trees also have big thorns on it. Uh, my parents have four mayhaw trees in their backyard, which produced mayhaws, berries, mayhaw berries. They have, they're really small, they kind of look like a crab apple, a tiny crab apple, mostly seed. They smell delicious, but if you were to eat a raw one, they don't taste that great. They're very sour. They make awesome jelly. Um, but they bloomed and had because you put like plastic or sheet up under the tree and let them fall off or you shake the tree to fall off you don't pick them off the tree because like i said they got big thorns on the tree um and when they're ripe they'll just fall off but it wasn't even may yet and those were done so they they did all that early because it's warmed up so much here oh i said before it's hot it's hot it's gotten to 100 degrees the past two days that doesn't include the heat index, which makes it feel harder, hotter and the humidity. It's not even June yet. Those temperatures we might expect in July. So I'm just like, what is the rest of the summer going to be like? Or what is summer going to be like? Because it's not even summer yet, technically. I don't know. I'm going to be staying where it's cool as much as possible. Plus, well... The air in my truck is still not fixed, which I'm hoping next weekend it maybe it will get fixed. Ugh. Not fun. Not fun to ride in. Not fun at all. Because Saturday I had to go to town. I left early, went and ate breakfast with my parents at Denny's. They love Denny's. They eat there pretty much every Saturday. They had my nephew for the weekend. He's 13. He's autistic. That is a big boy, y'all. He's bigger than me. But he's he's pretty sweet little boy. Um, but anyway, that my dad wanted to go to a yard sale that was down the road from his house afterwards. And we got there. It wasn't even 10 o'clock yet. It was already hot. It was already hot. Um, but I'll show you. I did grab a couple things from that yard sale which I'll show you in my DIY section and then I had my truck loaded down already with stuff to take to the hands of hope I think that's or is it helping hands it's one of those in town um so Tracy from creatively Tracy I've got my stuff taken off finally <laughs> No more Christmas tree riding around in my trunk. <laughs> so I had to go empty that out before I could go get groceries. I pretty much filled my truck back up on the way home because I got groceries and I went to Dollar Tree and I went to the produce stand and then I had to go buy CVS. But that was just for a prescription I had to pick up. So, all right. What else? Anything else? Mm -mm -mm. Got fun stuff to show y'all. And oh, I'll probably put the Dollar Tree link down below again because I still have yarn. They've added a fifth color to the Red Heart Unforgettable Waves. Um, for some reason that one color you can only order it by the case. You can't order just six. So I don't know. But there's still yarn there for a dollar, so y'all um also hmm yeah i think i'm gonna show this here because this is i got some happy mail that i've been waiting on for a very long time um hang on just a second y'all okay sorry about that i had to go get a tissue it hurts all right allergies and stuff driving me nuts all right anyway this is from 
my friend Sky, who lives in Australia, um, she recently opened an Etsy shop um, called The Art of Green Sky. Um, I've been watching her Instagram feed and seeing all the art she's been doing, and I loved it, and I was so excited when she opened up a shop so I could have some of her art, and it finally got here. Now, I ordered this like May 6th or something like that, and it just got here Friday or Saturday. I can't remember. One of those days. So I was like, oh, finally it got here. I'm so excited. Um, and just so you know, this didn't come all the way from Australia, but because they're prints or art pieces that she does, they're it only costs like about $4 to ship this or something like that. It wasn't too bad. Um, and that is U.S. currency. So... I'm going to show you what I got. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, and maybe you can see her tag. Right thing. Her little sticker. Come on, focus. I don't think it's going to focus because it's shiny. There it goes. That might be hard to read for y'all, but that says the art of green sky. That's her little sticker. I got two of those. I'm not going to turn it back to focus till I do this. I don't want to take this out of here, but this is this is an original print. This this uh come on thing. Focus. There we go. You can still see it really good through the plastic. But look at it. Isn't that cool? She does those with um uh I think she does it with um alcohol inks and things like that. I don't know she does a lot of art mediums she's in my Facebook group too y'all so y'all need to go check her out um, this even comes with a certificate of authenticity and she numbers them because this is an original artwork very professional um, I think it does say on the card hold on I haven't taken this out yet until I can get a frame for it because I don't want to mess it up but I think it tells more about yeah watercolor inks paint markers and on watercolor paper paper mounted on craft card so it is mounted to that card that it is on in the back but I'm going to put it in a frame they're so cool looking I'm going to take it out so y'all can see it better Oh. oh, this is a, I did not realize this. She put it on like a card. I'm not sending this to nobody. <laughs> but look, look at the colors. They're so awesome. And she has a bunch of different versions of this and different colors. And um, she has some now that look like dream catchers. And they all want one of those. But look, she's got her her sticker and the date and everything on the back come on thing focus there you go and she signed it super cool my hand sticking and stuff and it came with a card an envelope I guess you can that's really cool sky but I'm not mailing this to nobody I'm giving it I'm gonna put it in a picture frame um so yeah it has the certificate and everything on it really neat um let me get this back in here but i plan on putting that in a picture frame come on thing and hanging it up where i can look at it every day i'm trying to remember how much they're not too bad they're reasonable they're like $14 or something which is an original artwork like I said um, now this one this one is a print of her original artwork so it wasn't I think it was like five or six dollars or something like that but it is a print of her original drawing which is super cool look at this Isn't that so neat? I love that. I love them 
It says be love. What does that say? It's got her initials. It says be love across her arm there, and it says be you across her hair there. Isn't that? Well, this will focus better on it. But so pretty. And she does a lot of characters like that. And like I said, this is a, a print. I don't think it's focusing on my face now. Eh, I'll be I'll be fuzzy. Am I fuzzy or is it just my eyeballs? You know, I think I need to get my eyeballs checked. Um but I was super excited to finally get it. And I can't wait to get I gotta get me a frame for both of them. And then she sent me this little bitty card with this wax seal on it. Look, it has her Art of Green Sky in it, too. She's really big into stationery and stuff. And this has a thank you card and her business card. Well, she has two different ones. She has this one. You can go follow her on Instagram and see all her cool stuff. And then this is her other card. Hold that right there so y'all can check her out. And I've been friends with Sky for, well gosh, it's gotta be three years now because I made friends with her when I first kind of started my blog and everything through another friend of ours, Monique. So yeah, I'm very excited. I was very excited to receive that. And then she also sent me, she sent me another gift. And I am overdue for sending her a gift. Guy, I got to send you something. But she sent me this card. I'm not really sure what that is, y'all, but it's cool looking. Uh, let's see, does it say on the back what it is? No. But it's, it's neat looking. I don't know what that is, though. And she sent me another print. Very nice note. I'm not going to read that because that's personal. But this is another one of her. This is. This one's not a. Uh, an original. This is a print. So you can see the Art of Green Sky across there. I just love the way those look. And then this is a card with one of her new ones on it. It looks like, oh, sorry, my big old finger. It looks like a dream catcher. It looks like feathers hanging down and everything. So yeah, those are really cool. And I just wanna tell you all about her. I know I spent a good bit talking about her, but I'm very excited that she finally opened an Etsy shop because I think she's very talented and I'm excited to see what she does in the future. So, and she usually watches this. So, hey, Sky. <laughs> Thank you for my, my stuff. I really appreciate it. And your drawings are awesome. <laughs> okay, it's time for yarny goodness is that right is that right yeah pretty sure i did okay and i have a huge amount to show y'all i don't have any finished objects this week and though i feel like i have been working on things pretty good it's just i've got i feel like i've got most of the projects i've got are bigger perhaps and that's the problem i don't know and i've got one yarn club to share with y'all um so and I don't have as much in fabrics. This won't be as big as the, my past few have been, but that's typical. Things work out differently. So let's just take a look. First, I got my, um, I think I showed that last time, my Jimmy Beans Wool Crochet Club for the month. I got the second part. I did start working on that. I haven't gotten very far, but <laughs> just adding the coral color come on that side it's come on 
there we go yeah so this is supposed to be a market bag so it's um that's one of my stitch markers I have some like that in the shop if you want to take a look yeah um I really like working with this yarn this is a cotton linen blend yarn sugarbush kabot kabo this color is mango the coral color it's 70% pima cotton which pima cotton is always softer I've had that before and 30% linen Let's throw the paper in that blue color is by the lake so yeah I enjoy working with it and I'm gonna check out the price of it because I I would like to make a summer top out of that or something so that's what I did to that not far I started working on it last night didn't get very far because it was too late to be working on it but whatever um <laughs> then my let's see this is the waffle stitch scarf that I've been working on I will put a thing up here who it's by and all that stuff I can't remember right this moment in time um I can look on my computer but I finished one skein and have started the second and if you look you can see that it's kind of going in reverse now I pulled from the center for both of these um, you can see how it's this um, darker magenta and it fades to the lighter well it had it was darker and then it kind of looks like it fades but then it's going back darker but I'm okay with that at least it was on the same color and that'll be kind of the middle of the scarf since I intend on putting both because it's only to right here now which doesn't make a very good scarf so I intend on finishing out the other skein uh, just to make it a long scarf I almost at one point thought maybe I sure wish I had made it wider but since it's gonna be longer and I can wrap it that this is gonna be fine it's very soft it's squishy I love this yarn this is uh, this is the Ferris wheel yarn from line brand and this is wild violets and no, I was very very tempted buy some of this in all the yarn shells but I resisted because I do have some and I'm using it but it will go on my list at the end of this at the end of the summer because um I did order some stuff through all the yarn sale the sales going on this weekend but I'm done except for yarn clubs until the end of summer now so let's see the last thing I wanted to show you as far as whips is my progress on my sweater I was hoping to be to the armpits but yeah I feel like I'll knit like four rows well knit a row pearl a row knit a row pearl a row and it's like forever been 16 inches I gotta get to 18 inches so I don't know I finally laid it flat to measure it. I think I was just measuring it wrong before, but this is this is how far I've gotten, which is actually a lot. It takes a lot to get to that. That's the back side of it. Let's turn it around so you can see the front. Yeah. So I'm almost to, well, you don't really, I don't know if you do anything for the arms, but it's, it's the point you get to 18 inches you mark for your sleeves. So. And I still have to do another one of these for the back side and sleeves. So, uh, let's see. I'll probably work on this this evening so I can try to get done. Maybe get done with this panel. We'll see. I don't know. I tend to go back and forth when I'm working on projects in the evening time because I um my fingers knitting makes my hands hurt more than crochet. I will say that unless it's smaller crochet but um yeah but I um that is the Huga charm from Red Heart and this is the Marley Bird my first sweater knit along so it's which is already over of course I'm not 
even done one half of mine, but I knew that would happen. It's okay. It'll still be there for me. So, let's look at my one new yarn purchase. Ugh, that buzz all over. Oh, I'm trying to try not to move my stuff too much because I'm in the middle of redoing stuff in my fabric stash and I did, had to move stuff aside a little bit just so I could <laughs> do a podcast. So, anywho, this is my Southern Skeins uh, Sock Club for May. Came with this cute little tote with the flip-flops on it. I put a picture of this on Instagram. So you may have already seen it to a certain extent. But this is Life is Better in Flip Flops. Okay. And the big color is called Toes in the Sand. And the little mini is called Flora Days. Okay. They're kind of twisted together. So um, this, this is the big. I haven't taken them apart yet. So this is the big one. Look at those colors. They just scream summer. And I know somebody who's going to probably really love this that's been in my comments a lot. Pat. I know a lot of Pats, seems like. But she'll know who I'm talking about. This is, looks like some of her favorite colors. Let's get close up. Look at that. So, ooh, look at that right there. Look at all them sparkles in there and stuff. Oh, ooh, I love it. It's a soft. And then there's this one, which kind of has the white strips in with the thing. Looks like ocean waves or something. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. And that's been untwisted this somehow <sighs> there all right it also came with this super cute flip flop stitch marker look at it so cute let's try and get this to focus a little better it's like made of polymer clay look at it it's so cute and then I also got this. It's a little flip-flop notebook. And I got a tea. Moroccan mint from Stash. Which I'm looking forward to trying that out. I may try that out this afternoon. So. But that. Is. My Southern Skin Sock Club. And see this is. You know I'm trying the. Or you may not know. If you're a new subscriber you may not know. This year, I decided each month to try a different indie dye yarn club off of Etsy. And I thought about doing some that were, if I run out of ones on Etsy, I want to try. I'm, I'll be looking at some people who have direct, um, direct websites and are not on Etsy. Some people have suggested some places. Um, I'm trying to just stay on Etsy for right now. Um... And if I will try to put one of those eye things up here, excuse me, to a link to my last yarn club review video. I did OMG Yarn Balls Club. Uh, That's the MOFA Club, Mildly Offensive Fiber Artist Club. Um, but the Southern Skeins, uh, she is between Georgia and Florida. She kind of goes between the two states. Um, but I really love her yarn club. Um, it's $22 and that includes shipping, which is awesome for hand dyed yarn. You get the, the 100 gram skein and the, uh, the little 20 gram mini skein because uh, it is a sock club. Then I always get a stitch marker, always get some kind of treats. And then the past two come with these neat little bags. The last one was Easter had a bunny. But anyway, I really suggest you go check it out if you really want some indie dyed yarn because it's awesome and she has awesome colors. And I've been talking to her about something special that might be coming. I don't want to say anything else about it because I haven't talked to her and worked out the details yet, but 
I'm very excited about it. So, anywho, I'll put, be putting her link down below. I might just put links down below today because it's going to be a little bit shorter. I don't know, 40 minutes already, so. But, mm. so, in other news, something I wanted to share, share with y'all. Well, I mentioned DollarTree.com before. I did order some yarn from them. I just, I was good. I just ordered a quantity of six of one of the colors. But I also ordered these two-tier drawer organizers they have on here. They're the small. They're small. Because it, it always kills me in the comments when people talk about, these are so, so much smaller than they appeared in the picture. Look at the measurements, y'all. I'm just saying. They put measurements on there. The picture could, I mean, could be bigger than the object because they're trying to show you the details. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> I ordered them for a special project I'm going to talk to you about in my DIY section. Um, did order a whole case of it, so there's 24. But I also just ordered some bear yarn from Knit Picks. I wanted some when it was on sale. Well, today they have a 20% off the whole site coupon. So I went ahead and ordered some. And... I've already ordered my new my yarn club that I'm trying out for technically May. Even though May's almost gone, I probably won't get it till June. It's the club for May because I waited too late till I don't know why I waited so long to order it, but I kept forgetting about it. And that one is going to be exciting because that one actually comes in a cake instead of a hank. So I'm excited about that. Um, what else yarn is there? What else yarn is there? Oh, on Walmart.com, I noticed that sometimes, like I got the three pack of the Woolies really cheap on there. They also have three packs of the Velux from Line Brand. They have the three packs for $9.96, I think it is, which is awesome because those are usually like $7.99 a skein on Line Brand. I know, I don't know that they sell those anywhere else. They might. Um, but still, $9.96 for three of them, a three-pack. And most Walmarts, you can have them shipped to the store for free. So, I'll put a link down there for that, too, just in case you want to check that out. <laughs> I have some in my cart, but I have not yet pulled the trigger on it. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be good. Super hard. I'm trying real hard. One more thing. Because I almost forgot. I'm going to put a hat pattern. A link to a hat pattern down below. Umbaka. Umbaka. Crochet designs? Or crochet? I'm not sure exactly. I do remember the umbaka. I hope I'm saying that right. She has a hat pattern called the bulky hat pattern. Which I've made repeatedly. It's worked from side to side. And then you seam it up. But it has decreases at one end that help make the point so you don't get that. So it's not like a rectangle that you have to cinch up. It decrease, It's decreased. It. And you can add each. You can add decrease the, the panel. Each panel is until you get to the end of the decrease and then you start a new panel. Which you continue on as you crochet. You, don't, you only seam it on one part. But um, I love it because it's very easy to customize for sizes. Um, she has instructions for a child, child hat and an adult hat pattern. Um, but it's my favorite one, and it's the only hat I've ever made repeatedly. I hardly ever make any kind of pattern repeatedly, whether it be crochet or sewing or whatever, because I just don't. That is one I made repeatedly and because I love to make it so much. And I was talking to someone in the comments and I'd said I'd try to put a link to that in my next video. So we'll be down below. I cannot remember at this moment in time who it was, but they'll know if they're watching <laughs> who I'm talking about. Everybody else might want to check it out too. So I think that's it for my yarny goodness segment today. Time for fabric obsessed. Yeah. 
Um, I have one finished object to show you. And if you are on my email list or follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you may have already seen it, but I'm super excited about it. I wanted to share it with you today. I am a member of the Modern Quilt Guild, which uh, I'm an individual member because I am nowhere near any kind of guild that meets. <laughs> so just an individual member, but I can still participate in their challenges and uh, find fun things on the website and talk to people on the website if I want to. So I really enjoy it. Um, I was hoping to get to go to QuiltCon this year in February, but I did not get to make it. It was in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, I think. I went one year, several years ago, because they change. So like next year, it'll be on the West Coast. They alternate the coast it's on each year. So I have to wait until 2021. That's crazy to say. To go. So, but they had a challenge. Uh, their fabric challenge for 2019 was Riley Blake Designs Fabric. And I signed up in enough time to get the free little Fat 8 bundle they send out if you sign up in enough time. You only have so many of them. And you're supposed to make something quilted with that fabric. You can add more fabric, but it had to be Riley Blake fabric. So I just used the Fat 8 uh pack that they sent me but this is my this is it check it out look at this I'm very excited about it it's a mini quilt I did design this myself um for some reason when I saw the fabrics I just thought sailboat and that's where it went I didn't do a sketch of this a lot of times I'll do a sketch before I start something I just I knew exactly what I wanted to do and I dove in and it turned out pretty awesome my bottom binding is a little wonkily because of all those waves, but there's my waves. And I did that by sewing two different color fabrics together, flipping them out, and then just twisting them. I did a whole blog post about it, so I'll be putting that down below. And then to really get some different tones, so to speak, in here. That fabric up top, this white, you can kind of see it. It's the same as this polka dot fabric. It's just I flipped it so the back side was showing. And the pink one is the same. Yeah. And I used a salvage edge to name my boat. And here's the back of it. And this is the same stripe that's on the sail. Again, I just flipped it to give it to make it look more faded because this fabric looks faded and you can see the quilting i outlined the boat and there's just some simple wave type looking quilting there's my tab to hang it with and i put my label under there i wish i had to put it somewhere different now but and my binding is the leftover i had of this and the leftover i had of the pink and I put the white down at the bottom so it would kind of go with the the waves. So, anyway, I'm super excited about it. And I have submitted my entry. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. The winner, what is it? You get some kind of prize from Riley Blake, which I'm assuming is probably fabric. <laughs> um, and... What else? Oh, the top 10 get their quilts displayed at one of the quilt shows coming up. So, I'm excited just to see how I do. I've never done anything like this, so I can only send one picture in, so we'll see how it goes. All right, now I do have a little bit more fabric to show y'all, <laughs> um, but it's super cute. Um, this is from Bobby Lou's Bobby Lou's Fabric Factory. Um, I've purchased from her before on Etsy. Now she does have a regular website too. I'm gonna have to check that out. So, but this is what I got. First of all, I got these labels, which I'm very excited about. 
AR labels for your clothing that says it has pockets. <laughs> yeah. If you are a female, you know that a lot of times female clothing does not have pockets in it or useful pockets. Anyway, a lot of my clothing for school, like dress pants especially, they just don't have pockets in them. Or they're like this deep. What is the point of that? Why didn't you make it a real pocket? <laughs> that just irritates me so bad. Which is another reason for sewing my own clothing. I actually have a couple pair of pants over here that I just gotta, I gotta make some adjustments so they fit right. Um, but they, they have pockets. And I have another dress pair, pair of dress pants I made myself that has a pocket. So it has a zip on one side. So it just has a one pocket, but it still has a pocket. So I just, I saw these labels and I thought, yeah, I'm going to put those in my stuff when I make it. If it has pockets. So, anywho. And then I got a couple of pieces of fabric from her. This was a remnant. So this will be going in my personal stash because it's not big enough to be, well, I could make a mini maker bag out of it. But I'm not. It's going in my personal stash. <laughs> There we go. It has some octopuses on it and some seahorses. And I don't remember what designer this is by, but I thought it was super cool. It has tiny, super tiny octopus. I just really liked it and I liked the colors. And then I got this. How cool is this fabric? It has lemurs on it. But it's just like the outline of them with the black and white tail. That purpley background. That is so cool looking. Yeah. I super love this. Now this will be... You'll see some bags with this. Because this does fit in the bright colors with my Adis themed summer that I'm doing in the shop so at the end of June I'll be putting some new bags in there um I take a break from bag making ah. just had to take a break from that <laughs> but there's still bags in there y'all um so go check it out there is, there's no longer a sale in there I started to do some kind of sale for Memorial Day weekend but I had just done a sale so I'll probably if you're really looking for a sale do another sale at the end of June whenever I add new bags I typically do a, some kind of sale so if you're waiting for that that might be coming that'll be coming then but um what was I gonna say I don't know but there's still some bags in there um mega, the maker bags and the zip maker bags drawstring zip maker bags there's still some of those in there I may, if I can get around to it, put some of the mini maker bags in there before I do my summer update. We'll see how that goes. Because they're not too hard to whip out. So, um, and what else? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is, I ordered this from Connecting Threads because I was looking at potentially having them as one of my affiliates on the blog. I haven't got a response to that yet, so I don't know, but I wanted to order. I, I don't like to have affiliates that I haven't ordered things through, if that makes any sense. Because it could be a horrible experience, and I don't want to be advertising that. But it, the experience was good. I just kind of ordered stuff from their their little clearance sale section they were having. They actually had some really good prices on some of their fabrics. But they are they're quilting fabrics. But I'd say they're more traditional quilt prints than modern prints, for the most part. Um, this is what I ordered. I ordered a new brush for cleaning my sewing machine, because I needed one. I ordered this teensy, tiny <laughs> screwdriver. Alright, that's not going to work. No. Anyway, I have a small uh, 
screwdriver flat thing that came with the sewing machines I have, but it's hard to grip onto them, so I thought this might be useful. So, I also ordered this quick quarter two uh, little measuring device. You, um, when you make uh, half square triangles, you would lay two square pieces together and then you have to mark quarter inch to mark your center line. Well, I don't, I never mark my center line. I just mark a quarter inch to each side of the center line because you sew on that and then you can cut it and you'll have two. But this right here, you got to do all that at one time, which is awesome and I'm excited to use it, but I haven't yet. Then I also ordered two packs of these. <laughs> these are comic book boards but a lot of people use it to fold their fabric on them which is something I've been wanting to do and had a good price on them and I ordered two 100 packs I have been using them and I am halfway through one 100 pack so far so <laughs> yeah we'll see if I use them all that's a little scary but yeah whatever and then I did order a couple fabrics. You won't see these this summer, but you will see them in the fall towards Halloween. Because they were Halloween fabrics and they were on clearance. They're from Cotton and Steel. This one is Haunted City. Look at it. I love it. It's got the little ghosties flying around. That was the color. Um. And then I also got this one, which is called Haunted Hallway, which is also, I tend to favor these kind of colors with maybe a little bit of orange thread in there for Halloween. I don't like just black and orange for Halloween, but yeah, it's got some interesting things in those picture frames floating around. So, and those are on one of my little boards. I gotta put a pin in the back. I left the sticker on so I can remember what it is. Because I have, as I said before, been resorting my fabric, getting it on the boards on the shelf. And I've been making these little things, which I just kind of stapled a little piece of the fabric and wrote some information about it. And I'll be putting these in a little booklet. So then when I'm looking for fabric, I don't have to go dig on my shelf. I can look in my book, my little log book first, see what I got and see what might work and then go find it on my shelf. Cause I put them in them little cardboard things and I've been writing across the cardboard thing, you know, how much is on there as well. Just, uh, it's kind of double labeling, but I think it will uh, make it easier when I get ready to so, 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 <laughs> uh, I'll be doing a blog post about that Friday, actually, so you can check that out if you want to. Um, now, let's see, I think that is all for my fabric of souls. Mm. Water's almost gone. Time for DIY and thrifty goodness. And I actually have some things to show y'all for this portion this week. <laughs> um, I had a trip to Dollar Tree, which some of this will eventually go into other categories, but I felt like it was part of thrifty goodness. And I have some things to show y'all from the yard sale I went to. So, but first I'm going to show y'all these little things I got, which... They're not necessarily DIY, but they kind of are. I needed some new little stickers. I always wrap my orders in tissue paper, and I put a little sticker on it. I had some that had tea dolls on it, but it was like the tea dolls was about this big because I didn't realize that when I ordered it, but I've almost used them all, so I needed some more. So I went through a shop on Etsy, and I don't remember who it was because I forgot to write it down, but we'll put their name up here. And it will be in my links. Um, but I ordered these. Because I really liked them. You can have them customized. But they say. Thank you. Come on. 
focus thing. There you go. Thank you for your purchase. And then it has T Donalds under it. So you can put your shop name under them. And I thought they were super cute because they fit in. I like the craft paper look. So I was excited about that. And I also ordered this super cute sprinkly washi tape from her as well. From whomever that is. Though I can't remember the name. Oh, I'm sorry. But I will have all that information there for you. Um, I'm running out of steam. I'm running out of steam a little bit. I'm tired. That's just because I've not been feeling great. Didn't take much. So, let's see. This is what I got from Dollar Tree. I went in Dollar Tree to see if they perhaps had yarn in my Dollar Tree, which they did not. Of course, after seeing Rose Likes Crochet's video of her Dollar Tree find in the bins, I'm wondering if I've overlooked them. But, it doesn't matter. So, my mother and I went, and I wound up getting, I did get this tote, which I thought was really cute. It's nice and big, it'll be useful for all kinds of things, but it was a dollar. Everything was a dollar as a Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to show you what else I got down in here. I got, hold on just a second, get all of my stuffers out. got all these cute little pots. I got those three, and then these two have that honeycomb, but they're different colors. There's only one pinky looking one. But I got them because I ordered from Leisure Arts, I ordered a book about crochet and cactuses. I seen it on another podcast's vid podcaster's video. I think it's Cherry Hearts Crochet. I think that's what it was but leisure arts oh yeah leisure arts is having a memorial day sale through the end of the day i don't know if this will post before that's over by the time i upload everything and edit it it could be tomorrow morning before you ask, before y'all see this um but they had 50 percent off all their digital download books so i got some of those but that book is only in i don't think it's paperback either i think that's a hardback book but it wasn't on sale either, but I had a 35% off best customer coupon, which you get just about every time you order anything through them. And they let me use that on my whole cart, even the stuff that was on sale. And even though I only had that and a llama planter shipped to me that stuff was digital it let me count the price of those towards my shipping total i only spent like 27 dollars i got several books that book the llama planter and it, it let me get free shipping even though my total after my discounts was less than what you're supposed to have for free shipping so i need to go check them out anywho what i plan on doing is using these for my crocheted cactuses or cacti sorry is cacti for the plural and just so you know octopuses is not octopi it's octopuses which sounds weird but i watched a documentary type thing on geo national or whatever it was and this guy is an octopus scientist basically and he said that it's octopuses <laughs> so anyway so i found those they had they had five left so i got all of them and then Get them all out one time. I got up these scarves <laughs> because they are super cute. This one's got pineapples. This one's got like palm leaves or some kind of tropical leaf on it. This one's got flamingos on it. And this one has palm trees on it. So definitely not gonna be wearing no scarf down here this time of year i don't even know why they sell these honestly because ain't nobody wearing a scarf in 100 degree weather but i'm going to <laughs> i'm gonna make me a funky top out of this and i will be doing a blog post on it so i will show y'all what i do i'm gonna make this into a top for myself 
it'll be nice and cool and breezy. This is a gauzy tank material, and we'll have to wear a tank top under it, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing with that. I have a blog post already where I turned a bigger scarf into a top, so I'll have to put that down below for y'all. Um, and my last find from Dollar Tree, get some of this stuff moved out of my way. <laughs> I found these. Which you can, I found figurines, cool figurines in there before the Dollar Tree. You never know what you're going to find. But I found these. And this is Hey Arnold. It's a cartoon that was on Nickelodeon. Which I think that one in particular was more when my, my son was a kid. But now this, these two, I used to watch this when I was a teenager. Ren and Stimpy. Check him out. There's uh, Rian, and there's Stimpy, so yeah. I had to pick those up, and if you look at the back of them, it says collect them all, so the only other two they had in that line was Spongebob and Patrick, which I'm not as fond of. I mean, I like Spongebob, but I, w I would rather have, I loved that they had Rian and Stimpy, and hey Arnold, so just cool little figurines for me to collect for some reason they were a dollar so I like stuff like that sometimes my mother has a humongous collection of figurines like that still in the package that she collects I mean I don't even know how many she has anymore so she's got she even has some of those um, California raisins if y'all remember those little characters she has some of those figurines um, yeah pretty cool but oh one more thing I gotta show you like I said we went to a yard sale they had the guy that was a guy that had passed away um, and he was he liked to refinish old furniture and stuff so they had a lot of unfinished furniture and stuff out there and they had some really cool stuff my dad actually got a I should have took a picture of it but I forgot to but it it's not a it's like an oversized chair. You know, it's not big enough to be a bench for two people, but it's an oversized chair frame. It had really cool wood details on the back and everything. I think he wound up talking them down to 20 bucks for it, so that was pretty good. Um, and then they had... Excuse me, my goodness. What's going on? They had a big pile of stuff, because I was looking at it because it had some interesting little architectural feature pieces. And they said, the stuff in that pile is free because we're going to burn it because it doesn't seem to go to anything we have sitting out here. We don't know what to do with it. And I'm like, okay. So I got stuff out of that free pile. The only other thing I did buy that I didn't bring in here to show y'all was I found this big, I think it's by Thermos. It's like a portable griddle grill um it's gas it's powered propane powered and i got it for 10 bucks and i thought my husband could use that for hunting so that's the only thing i actually purchased there but these are the things i got out of the freebie pile give me just a second everything's trying to run away all right and these are kind of dirty and dirty, but I, bought, I got this thing. It just looked really cool, and I can use it for something. It looks kind of like a C, and I just noticed that, y'all, you know, my last name starts with a C. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. I don't know if this way or this way is going to look right whenever I do this. So, <laughs> And then I got this thing. I mostly got because of the knob. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. But it was free and I grabbed the whole thing. But that knob is really cool. I can't tell if this is focused. Isn't it? Ugh, I should have moved this closer. There we go. Yeah. It's really cool. It's it's probably plastic. I don't know. Maybe. No, it feels cold. It's metal. But it's cool looking. 
And then this little thing, I also noticed it's some cool hardware on the side. On that end and on this end, it has, well, it looks like it was a lock. It looks like it was the lid to something. So I may, I don't know, this stuff is splitting. But that is wood underneath this laminate stuff going on. And you can peel that off a lot of times. I still use the wood underneath. So I may reuse this whole thing. I don't know, but I really liked the knob. And then I got these cool, they had a lot of wood detail. They're kind of rough looking, but they'll clean up or be painted or whatever I do with them. Um, I'm not into the whole painting everything white, but uh, I got three of these. They look like they were probably a chair leg or something. So I got those. Give me one more second. All right, these pieces are kind of big, so. But I got some cabinet doors. This one's a little narrow. And I got this bigger one. These all seem like pretty solid wood. And then, I'm gonna put this up here like that. I got this. I'm not sure what this is. If it was something he was practicing on or whatever. It almost looked like an old cutting board. It's just flat on the back. But it's really smooth feeling. And uh, it does have some splits here. Which I don't know that those are going to go back in. But I just thought it was cool. Um, So you may be wondering, what the heck are you going to do with cabinet doors and an old piece of wood, Christy? Well, you can do a lot of stuff with that, peoples. <laughs> um, they're really great to turn into chalkboards um, to hang up. Or um, you can even buy the thin cork and adhere it and make it a cork, a little cork board. Um, you can do photo transfers onto them. You can do uh, word transfers onto them. You can do all kinds of stuff with those things. So, be looking forward to that. I haven't done a DIY project in a long time on the blog, so I'm looking forward to doing that. But, anywho, that is all I have for you today. This turned out longer than I thought it was going to be, but it may be shorter with some editing that I got to do, but we'll see. Still an hour. A little over an hour. But, uh, yeah. Um, oh, upcoming videos to look forward to. Um, let's see, June 4th, I have, is my Cancerversary. Um, so, I'm going to do a video and tell y'all more about thyroid cancer and life after having thyroid cancer and living without a thyroid. Um, it will be my sixth year Cancerversary. It is also my mother's birthday, so... We usually do something to celebrate that together. Um, I will be six years old and she will be older than that. She might not want me to say how old she is. But um, we, we, usually, we generally do something together just to celebrate. So uh, I think the fourth is on like in the middle of the week. So we may do something the weekend, this weekend or the weekend after. I don't know. But I'm going to do a video and I'll probably be recording that this weekend um, so that I can post it on the day so it won't be recorded on that day because I have to work but um and another video that I want to do is a video about the origins of tea dottles um if you've watched my 10 non yarny things video I'll try to put a little eye link up here um you will notice yeah you will notice I did tell where I came up with a name for tea dottles. It was my grandmother's nickname. My Mima Tea Dottles. She's the one that taught me to crochet. But I thought it would be fun to do a video talking about that and showing y'all some of the makes that she has. That Some of the makes that I have from her. Some things she made for me or for others that I have inherited. Um, she has passed away. Um, it's been 10, 15 years, something like that since she's been gone. But either way, I thought it'd be fun to do a little video about that and show you some of her makes and talk about her a little bit because she's the inspiration behind 
the tea titles. Um, what else? I don't know. I may do a video about my dogs. Introducing y'all to my dogs. I don't know. I may add it onto a podcast or something. I don't know. Do y'all want to meet my dogs? I know y'all have heard about them in my videos. <laughs> y'all heard them snoring in my videos as well. So, I just thought it'd be fun to introduce y'all and tell you a little bit more about them. So, those are some things coming up. I'm also going to be working on videos for the zipper. I haven't forgot about doing the zipper around the curve. Uh, some tips and techniques for working with knits if you're sewing clothing. I had someone, when I asked for suggestions for videos about sewing, that was one of the things I got. I also, someone said about sewing a lining into a crocheted top, which I've never actually done that, but I have sewn on crochet, so it would work pretty much the same, so... And it's very similar to sewing with knits, except you usually sew a non-knit to it when you do that to help stabilize the stitches. So, those are things I'll be working on. Mm, since I have Fridays off during the week, I will try to work on things like that to have to put out during the week when I'm working. So, we will see how that goes. But, that is the plan. Um... And I'm also, like I said on the blog, going to be working on re redoing that um, so I can maybe get more subscribers and also just want to make it look better and got some goals I want to achieve with that. So, y'all, I just realized it kind of looks like I got ears because of my stapler, my saw back there. <laughs> anyway if you like this video give it a thumbs up think about subscribing down below um and i will be back i probably won't have another video until this weekend um i don't know that i'll be able to get another video out this week especially since i had didn't get this done till monday which it may not post till tuesday morning or it may post really late tonight i don't know it, it takes forever to upload things to YouTube on my network. I was in the middle of uploading something one day. It said I had over an hour left to upload. I just closed my laptop and took it with me to my parents' house. Um, and I was just going to let it finish uploading there. Because uh, I had to work on a blog post when I came back and stuff. I was doing some stuff in town. Well, I opened up my laptop and pulled my window back up and everything and it like all of a sudden jumped from having over an hour to five minutes to upload they have a super fast network my network sucks my network sucks y'all but I really can't do nothing about it because where I live at it's kind of like got very little to choose from where I live at so maybe I'll just start taking it to my parents house to upload I don't know We'll see. <laughs> anyway, let me let y'all go. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy. If you had the day off, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you stayed hydrated and stayed uh, wore sunscreen because it's very hot out there where I live at anyway. Um, so, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.